Hello everyone, welcome to Geeker Mag. In this video, I'm going to share with you a new workaround using which you can upgrade to Windows 11 2 for S2 on old computers with unsupported hardware. Before that, I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. If you find this video useful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel as this encourages me in creating more similar videos. Alright, to make this process easier, we'll be using a nifty tool named Flyby11 that will automate the upgrade process. Head over to this GitHub page. Here you will find out complete information about the tool. Click here to download the latest version of the tool that is 0.17 as of creating this video. Scroll down and download this zip file. Once you get the zip file, right click on it and select extract all to get the required files. Now run the setup file with name flyby11.exe. If you see this dialog box, click on more info and then click run anyway. When you see dialog box appear, click yes to continue. On the app window, you need to check the box for method 1 in place upgrade via server setup. Now before we move forward, you need to keep in mind that this method will not work if your PC doesn't meet pop count requirement as it's crucial for upgrading to Windows 11 24 H2. But you can upgrade to earlier version like 23H2 if you are upgrading from Windows 10 or earlier version of Windows 11. I have created a detailed video on how to check if your PC meets popcorn requirements. So check the link in the description. Also I would like to add if your PC doesn't meet minimum requirements and you use the method to upgrade then there is higher possibility that you stuck in boot loop or similar and you would be able to access your PC so I won't recommend doing that. With this method, you can bypass requirements like old processor, TPM and others. So if you made up to this part of the video, I presume that you are aware of the consequences if you move forward. Alright, now click on the start button and this will open Windows 11 downloader. Select continue. Select the latest release. Select the edition. And select language. Now this is crucial part. Here you need to select the language that your OS is running already on the PC. For example, if it's running Windows 10 or Windows 11 English US, then select the same. English International is different from English United States. So keep that in mind. If you download the ISO with different language, later in the video you will see grayed out option for setting where you can select what data you want to keep on the PC. At last, select architecture and click download. This will start downloading the ISO. One more thing, it's not mandatory that you have to download Windows 11 using this tool. You can head over to Microsoft website and download the ISO from there if you want. Once you have the ISO file, click on the mount and run ISO button. Select the ISO and it will mount the ISO and run the setup file. You will see this screen, install Windows Server. Don't worry about that, it will install Windows 11 2 4 H2. To make the upgrade process fast, Click on the change how to set up download updates and select not right now as we have already downloaded the latest version and click next. Now keep following the on screen instructions. Once you reach this screen, select keep file settings and app option to save your data and click next. Now setup will prepare the PC for upgrade, check enough space and at last you see this screen, click on the install button and that's all you have to do. The setup will start installing the Windows 11 on your PC. During the setup, your system will restart automatically several times. So don't do anything until you see login screen. Just enter the password if you have set any. And you will see the Windows 11 home screen. Now you need to keep in mind that recently Microsoft started showing system requirement not met watermark on the desktop or possibly in the setting app. So after upgrading, if you see similar watermark, then check this video on how to remove it. Don't worry, watermark will not affect the functionality. So that's all for this video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to get notifications about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.